Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to remove audio with Corral Video Studio 8. So first if you just downloaded it we can right click on the icon and open or you can double click click the icon and we of course allow the software to upload on our computer. Once Corel Video Studio 8 has loaded, we can immediately go down to this line here, which is the video line, and put the cursor into the box there where it is now on the actual line, just there, anywhere. Right click your mouse and go down to Insert Video. Pick your relevant video that you require to use. So we we'll go. Um, looking glass window 10 for an example all right and we can double d click that icon and of course our video footage is there now how do we remove the audio that's simple if we simply put the cursor into that video footage and we right click on that particular footage we have a selection bar there. Now, if we come down that selection bar to split audio and we left click at split audio. We can see that the audio has now been split. OK, now, how do we make the audio into an MP3 file? Simple. You right click on the video file and go to delete and left click now you go into share so click on share and straight away you notice the word audio so we click on audio and we can put it in various audio formats but as we want mp3 we come to the arrow at the right hand side there we come down to microsoft word um word get it right sorry microsoft's um wave because it goes in wave files and then we can click on there that will give us a wave file at least that we can muck about with okay then all we've got to do is title it with whatever we want just there which we can put we'll put just test audio all right then with the test audio you just simply push start And that is now saved as a waveform. Then all you got to find, find is some way of changing that waveform back into MP3. Which, again, I can show you something else as well on this. So if we now get rid of our Corral Video Studio 8, all right, we can bring up the next program called Audacity, okay, which we, we can right click on Audacity open it click on the file area go down to import import audio which is just there find the actual file you require which should be in the video area They are test audio. So we put test audio back in. All right. We can then do any alterations on that test audio required and modify it, you know, thing with this program, you know, to make it sound better and so on. But in this case, we just want to change it to MP3. So we go file straight into export audio 
All right, and down here where it's got wave, we can change that to MP3. Simply click save. All right, put in your domestic tabs and stuff like that if you do require that to be done. Push the OK switch. Um, providing it has got that file in it, it would have worked. Okay, if it hasn't, all right, we will go ahead and download it. So what we do is download it. So we push download. And as it's got to extract the LEN download page, uh, left click this link, do not right click. So we uh, right click and on left click this link, do not right click. So we left click the link, not right click, was just about to get it wrong. But there you go, what's new? And that is working. Then all we've got to do is left click of the that one, which will give us the um, no. Hang on, I've got to get this right. Now let it let it um, go from there, and then it's len 3.99, which is that one for the actual um, zap file, which. Yeah, which is the right one anyway. So we go into that because it's Windows EXE, I believe. Ask it to run, which we've got about five seconds to wait. When it comes out of the box, which it will just push uh, run. Now this the, this is where people sometimes go wrong when they actually run programs. So I run this through. Always click next. But if it requires you to then go and ask for custom or a direct install, and sometimes it does, always go custom. All right. So we can install that. And in this case, it doesn't want to go custom, but anytime you install programs, go custom and do not go for any other programs like, you know, web browsers or stuff like that, because some programs can contain media, um, all that crap of, um, oh, what do they call it, um, spam and crap like that. It's basically crap programs that make your computer run safe and stuff like that. So, but this one's fully safe, so that's fine. All right, but some are not. Now, with that installed, if I now go back into uh, our audio player, all right, we should, might have to restart it. So just bear with me. We're, see if we can um, abstract this. Right, test audio. I'll put MP3. And once that's done, of course, you're done. So you've now made an MP3 from the existing uh, file from a video. So I hope this uh, video will help you out. Um, many thanks for joining me. Bye for now.